if this movie came out on schedule, let's say it came out late last year, right? Mm -hmm. Then by now, whoever did the makeup should have been nominated for best makeup for the Oscars, okay? And I know right now the nominations are out, but here you look at the Penguin and you can't tell that that is Colin Farrell, like at all, not even through the eyes or anything. Like you're looking at him and you're just like, who is this actor that's playing the shit out of the penguin and the makeup job? It was to the point to where a, it was believable and B it didn't look if it were CG. So really when it comes down to the penguin as a look, I give that makeup artist, uh, S tier again, <laughs> an S tier makeup S-tier artist. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, like, the practical, the practical effects of this makeup is just insane. And same, I think you know we obviously knew who you know the actor was. I think all of us were kind of like shocked to know he was going to be playing him. Right. Um, and I think even like as we were discussing during our like fandom uh, breakdown, we were kind of like skeptical of how they were going to play it off. Like you know we were so used to um, I'm spacing on the actor's name, but who's the actor who portrayed Penguin in the earlier film? Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't say it wrong. But, um, uh, you know, I think with having someone like him portray the Penguin and so well, it's it, you know we were very skeptical to see uh, this actor kind of portray him, but seeing him on screen i was like i don't i can't i can't see any of the actor like all i see is penguin Mm -hmm. which is so cool to just be able to melt into the character like that um i mean i was sold i with 